thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing an Hermes haul. I teased a few photos on my Instagram stories. I went into an, a local Hermes boutique. I hadn't been in an Hermes boutique in over a year. So I recently made a trip and I was able to pick up some bits that I had been meaning to get my hands on. So um, even though I am still recovering from my uh, dental work, I still wanted to be able to film this for you guys. It'll be another episode of Talking Hands with Katie. <laughs> but also I think this angle will be much better for you to see the pieces in a lot more detail. Um, so I hope you don't mind. I have a few bits to get through, so I'm going to jump right into it. If this is your first time joining, hi, I'm Katie. Normally I have my full face on camera and everything, but again, um, just given my recent dental work, I am um, doing these talking hands, as you can see. Um, but I do these fashion videos on YouTube. I share hauls, reviews, but at the end of the day, I really try to focus on how we can all very mindfully build out our luxury designer collections. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below, and I would love to see you here join this community. So without further ado, I have a few boxes to get through. First off is this baby right here. Inside. Ta-da! I don't know if you can actually see from this angle, so let me uh, turn it around. As you can see, it's a little teacup set. So there's a little teacup and the little saucer. And this is from the A Walk in a Garden collection from Hermes. I feel like it's one of their more recent collections, at least recent, more recent to me. Um, this teacup set comes in two colors. There is the green, which is what I have here, green with an orange trim, and there's a yellow. I saw the yellow one online first, and when I went into the boutique, they actually had a green. I didn't even know they had a green one, but they had a green one in the boutique, and I just, I really fell in love with this color. I thought I would like the yellow one. I think I might add the yellow one later in my collection. Um, you might be wondering why there's only one teacup and why I didn't get a set of two like the box would suggest. Um, that's because I'm pretty much the only person who really drinks tea um, and there's something else for my boyfriend. So that's why there's only one of these for right now. I was enjoying my Passifolia tray so much for my desserts and like little treats that sometimes I feel like it deserves like a little teacup, you know, like a really beautiful teacup to go with it. You know, I don't know. I want, I like this, this little, this little motion, right? So I wanted something that had a handle. I wanted something that had a little saucer. So that's how I landed at uh, this particular model. And I love this design. You might be thinking why I didn't get the one that went with the Passifolia set because I have the tray. And that's because I personally didn't like it. I felt like it was a little too tropical for my taste. Um, it had like a lot going on, a lot of leaves, a lot of like tropical flowers. I know that's the whole point of that collection, but for the teacup and saucer, I just felt like it was a little too much. So that's why I decided to go for a different collection. And I, I mean, if you, you might've guessed by now, but like, I don't mind mixing and matching and all of that stuff. Like that's how all of the plates are like in my kitchen anyway. So I had no problem mixing up this collection but yeah so this is the first item the next item is in this box right here and inside Ta -da! so these are actually from the passifolia collection these are the cereal bowls I know they look pretty similar to the tray that I have because there's like a singular leaf. I keep saying these because underneath there's another one. Because I really love the shape of this bowl, which is why I'm showing you like that profile view. I've been on the hunt to get a bowl that isn't a soup bowl and isn't a noodle bowl. 
So, um, for a lot of Asian cuisine, the noodle bowls will be pretty deep, right? Because you have noodles, a lot of times you'll have soup. So you want it to be pretty deep to be able to get your noodles and have the soup underneath it as well. And sometimes soup bowls will be really shallow and wide, or they'll be kind of small. And I was looking for a bowl that would be perfect for rice, like fried rice or rice that has things that go on top of it. Um, so like in Korean food, there's something called pivimbap, which is kind of like a fried rice, but you, you put a lot of things on top of your rice and then you mix it all together. If you put it on a plate, sometimes it's hard to eat it off, like get it on the, uh, from the side, you know, cause the plate's flat and there's no lip holding it. So it's like hard to scrape it all up. Sometimes when you use those noodle bowls, it's like really deep. And so your rice goes all the way down to the bottom. And if you're trying to mix something, it gets harder because it's not quite flat. And it, 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 you know, there's a portion that keeps going down at the bottom. That's why I was getting particular about the shape of this bowl, okay? I've been looking for a while. I actually totally forgot about their cereal bowls. I really did. I remember seeing them online a long time ago, but I, 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 I forgot. I just didn't really think about the cereal bowl. And then I actually saw them in person. There was a whole like dinner table set up with the Passifolia collection and this these bowls were on top. I liked how deep this was and how flat it was all the way across. There's no like extra bit down here that gets narrow. It's all just like flat across this way. And so that's what I really fell in love and that's why I really fell in love with this dish. I did look through to see if there were any other collection that had bowls, that had cereal bowls specifically. Because I remembered when I saw them online, I remembered seeing something called cereal bowl. Um, and it turns out, I think it's from the Ikat collection, but I think those are getting discontinued. I think those are pretty much gone because um, there was like none available. That was the only other collection that had a cereal bowl and I don't think any of the other collections did. So that's why I decided to pick this one up. Also, I like that this is like a simple, like one leaf motif instead of like many, many, many tropical leaves and flowers, you know, I feel like that gets a little bit too messy, but this is like clean enough and I just love the shape. So that's why I picked up two of these. You guys might be thinking I'm crazy with how much I can talk about like the shape of a bowl <laughs> for this long. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful and not too boring. And last but not least is this box. This is also going to be tableware or homeware. So this is my boyfriend's choice, if you will. Inside. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, you can't even see. This is an espresso cup, and this is from the H Deco collection. So you'll see there's the little saucer here, the little espresso cup here, and so here's the little set. Look at how cute. I like this design. So yeah, this is my boyfriend's espresso cup. Uh, he drinks coffee. That's why earlier there was only one teacup because the teacup's for me and the espresso cup is for him. And I know it's kind of silly to just have one of each. So we might eventually fill out the, the collection and, and get another one. Um, so there'll be like two espresso cups and, and two teacups. But like I said, we sort of like getting a mix and match of things. And I feel like a lot of the Hermes tableware collections are really, really pretty that I don't necessarily want to limit myself to just one. And I also feel like, I don't know, I don't, I'm not the type of person who'd want the full set from just one collection either. Um, like I, I want plates that I like that makes sense to have and then have the cups and the teacups and maybe the espresso cups from other collections. Like I kind of like having a mix and match. So this is the final piece from our recent trip to Hermes. All right, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed seeing the different collections from Hermes on their plateware, homeware, tableware, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you found that helpful. I hope you're not disappointed that it wasn't a bag. Um, I wasn't able to browse the handbags and leather goods as much as I wanted to, which is okay. I, I can go back to, to kind of dedicate specific time for that. But right now the Hermes boutiques are open um, exclusively for a, by appointment. 
you can't like walk in so um, if you are planning on heading to the Hermes boutique I highly recommend you make an appointment beforehand and I don't know it it seemed like a different experience it felt like a lot of people walk like set up an appointment and knew exactly what they wanted to get so they were coming in and being like oh I want to get a belt kit in this size this width with this kind of buckle and they were like out in 20 minutes Ver versus like I like to go into a boutique and like browse because a lot of times I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what's new. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like there's, there can be all sorts of things happening in the boutique. I love seeing how the stuff is displayed and all of that. And so I, I, I felt like I wasn't able to do that as much. So I'm, I, I will be going to the Hermes boutique again soon, hopefully. Um, and this time maybe I'll focus a little bit more on the leather goods and the small leather goods and stuff like that and the shoes maybe. Um, so stay tuned. There might be another haul soon where I share some more Hermes goodies. But in the meantime, I'm super stoked. I was able to pick up these pieces from Hermes. It's so hard because the website doesn't always have everything. So it's hard to know like, all the things that exist to even plan to even like be able to figure out you know how you want to add those pieces so i hope you found this helpful if you have any questions on any of the pieces or really anything at all feel free to leave them down below or head on over to instagram and i'd be happy to help however i can if you like this video and you found it helpful please give me a thumbs up i really appreciate all of your feedback and support if you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye.